name is James Edward Garcia, and welcome to another episode of My Haunted Diary. This is part three in the series of my paranormal urban explorations at Pilgrim Psychiatric Center, and this one also took place in the winter of 2014. In this episode, I will start off by returning to the old power plant, looking for a way up to the top of the main building. But it was a failed attempt due to the heavy rains that took place the night before, making it a wet, messy affair. After that, I head over to the connected buildings on the far left. Again, I get plenty EVPs and disembodied voices, but I still conduct a spirit box session with validating communication from the other side. Visually, I capture shadow activity, and at one point, some object or creature that whips around as my camera was panning. I found paperwork in a dining hall that contained patient transfer information from Kings Park Psychiatric Center to Pilgrim State Hospital. Remember the old water tower I explored in episode one? Well, here are a few drawings integrating it into the proposed town center and mall on the land it rests. Did you know that filmmaker John Huston made a movie in 1946 called Let There Be Light? It explores military personnel that have been put into an asylum suffering from mental illness due to traumatic events during wartime. It was filmed in the at one time called Mason General Hospital, which is a portion of Edgewood State Hospital in Deer Park, Long Island, New York. Edgewood was an extended portion of Pilgrim State Hospital located in Brentwood. These scenes you are watching are from the film. Here's a moment of the movie outside where the patients on the road to recovery are playing baseball. What I find most interesting is this looks to me that it was shot at Pilgrim in back of Building 25, not at Edgewood. Sifting through this film, I also found this one scene that is shot in front of Building 81 at Pilgrim State Hospital, which eventually shifted its name to Pilgrim Psychiatric Center as it is known today. I did find one scene that was shot in front of Building 102 at Edgewood State Hospital. You will see the military patients enjoying visits from their spouses. I will show footage of this particular building being demoed next. By the way, I figured I'd mention, I went to Deer Park Elementary School for a couple of years back in the early 70s, right near where Edgewood Hospital resided, and it was getting ready to officially close around that time. Here's a crude spectator video of the demolition of the large Building 102 at Edgewood Hospital being demoed in 1989, along with some news footage. It's been a Long Island landmark for more than 50 years. The Edgewood Hospital, abandoned since the early 70s, could be seen from miles away. But at exactly 11.18 a.m., it was the last time anyone ever saw the 13-story building this way. So we've gone outside for many, many years. During brush season, uh, we're up here three, four times a day. Hours, we put as much as five, 600 hours in a month during brush season. During the winter, uh, we get situations to hang out for the kids. You know, for them, it's a little campground. Hundreds of spectators took in the spectacular show, lining Comac Road to watch what was billed as the largest demolition by implosion in New York State history. Actually, we only used about 350-pound explosive weight, but there was two tons of, <laughs> of shape charges. And what it does, it detonates and it, and it, and it uh, forms a jet, 
and the jet just cuts the steel. We cut every I-beam in the, the building. And it just went straight down as planned. Well, it really went backwards. It looked like it was going straight down from here, but it, it went backwards. The job was the largest demolition ever carried out by the state, according to New York's Environmental Cons Conservation Commission. Three more buildings remain on the site, and the state is planning to have them demolished also. Once all of the buildings are gone, the 644-acre site will be allowed to revert to a natural preserve, and the plan is for the land to be used as a park. Okay, enough trotting down memory lane. Get ready for more of my continued paranormal urban explorations at Pilgrim Psychiatric Center. There are more episodes on the way from my time at Pilgrim, and my channel keeps growing with explorations into the supernatural in some of the most haunted places in the U.S. So make sure you subscribe. Please try to communicate with me here at the power plant. That's one way to start going up. You climb on this, then what? Try to maneuver around some of this stuff. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. sounds do not sound like the water coming down you go into that and have to go through water to get to it be nice to get up in there maybe more than a hassle than anything See these, these are pretty high up. Yeah, to climb this wooden ladder just to get to that level. it up all around and it's all coming from here the power plant building slowly deteriorating kind of interesting that I do think I'm gonna see a bunch of urban explorers around here people with curiosity want to check the place out but I'm not seeing that right now, so that's good. It makes the sounds all around me seem more creepy. display of tires. Path mark. Where shopping is a displeasure. Just use this as a dumping ground too. They just bring their stuff here and just dump. 
Yeah, let's get rid of our refrigerator. I don't think that was a part of this place, that refrigerator. Look at that nice flower growing out of the wall. There's those mattresses. Can't see from here, but I was looking from up in the building back that way. stuff and I didn't turn my Olympus on. Definitely hearing voices. Now I know I must have went in here, right? Didn't I? Another drippy area. I don't know. Maybe. Wow. If you do it, you get wet. What was that? Something here. I heard that. try anyway. That is an entrance way to the upper. If it wasn't so wet, I would do it. How was that? What am I climbing here? Metal railing. Just made a jingle noise. Like something banged it. We're gonna go to this side, to the left. And it's accessible. I didn't see anything accessible on this side on the right. Uh, at least not from the front. As I continue on. Pilgrim State. Really? The steps? into higher knowledge are right here. Oh, that smell, that strong musty smell in here. It's pretty intense. Barred window right here. Not something that lifts up, so it almost looks like a little jail cell. dirty in here. This is what you'll see. So you know what I'm talking about. Where people said they've seen some cool stuff inside. So, we're here. It looks like a fire was started over here at one time. Where those bags are. Nice ladder. Left behind. The toilet still, still intact. There's a little bit of toilet paper on a roll there hanging. 
Go figure. Pull the paper on the floor. Open this door. Not a dead body on it. Oh, somebody stole the toilet in there. This one? Toilet's still there. Alright. That's my toilet tour of the day. Let's continue on. TB, I think it's a, or developing TB. Cool, look at that elevator with a chair in it and a bag. Somebody put that in there. Curtains in here. ARS Accident Reporting System. Call 888-800-0029. Toll free, 24 hours a day, every day. Remarkable. Calendar for the month. Vincent or something, or whatever, it's filthy. Some spirit, any spirits that reside in this place? My name is James. Personal department, Pilgrim Psychiatric Center, Brentwood, New York. What the fuck was that? That was a weird sound just right above me. I just captured that. It was like, like that. That was weird. Okay, if that was you, thank you. Carol E. Isaiah Isassi, Isassi, alcohol and controlled substances in the workplace. Okay, so this is March 10th, 1998. Start on me some, but kept my cool. Just never heard a voice. Just a whole lot to see, especially if there's all these adjacent buildings. It's like a Mickey Mouse picture. And Mickey and Minnie. Check it out. The art of Walt Disney. Nice. Still hanging. After all this time. But not in very good shape anymore. Stalls, a bunch of them. Chair on the ground. Anybody taking a dump in here? Any spirit dump going on? It's pretty wet in there. Anybody in here can speak with me? My name is James. Just checking stuff out here. Let's see, again, that cross thing. It looks like a red cross. 
on the wall. So, uh, go ahead and bang away. Show yourself. Talk with me. Oh, I just heard something over here. Some rustling. Somebody over there? Heard that. Air conditioning units and big table filing cabinets. It's a big old mess. What's going on down here? Keep doors clear. Crawl space. I'm here one bang in here. Bangs down here. Who's banging? Who's down here with me? Why would you want to hang down here? What's so special? Yeah, it's all messy in here. Imagine workers hanging out down here. See a chair and that table over there. Got this wall bench thing here. Just to put stuff on. Looks like paint cans hanging, even a bucket. It's definitely an old, look at that old shovel. Old sink. Declay Manufacturing Company, Chicago, Illinois. Product of. Okay. There's a painting on the floor here with fish and stuff. Maybe some really crappy art there. There, 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 there. there. I'm gonna go up higher though. Your machine. The fuck? Okay. That was a strange sound.
this barn door. Feels like a jail. All right. Somebody's hanging sweater. Check it out. The hanging sweater. Can anybody make that sweater move? Any spirit that may have used that sweater? Or just likes to hang out here? That'd be a cool thing if you could move that. Come on, try your hardest. You're bugging me. That's a, this could be a rat body or something. I climb up this ladder. Yeah, you look at the roof in here. It's wood. Right here, it should be all busted down, but it looks okay, a lot of this part. Considering there's so much leaking going on below. There's not so much leaking right here. Go figure. I mean, you can hear leaking, but... Uh, a lot of stuff left over here. Turn this light on. Gripping right here. from my camera, but I got my Olympus recording whatever my RTVP may do. So, you know, if I'm down a ways. Okay, my name, my name is James. Did you just say James? I heard James. I heard that. Who is that? What's my name? I'm going my camera now. Get the spot. Whoa. And some deep voice guy just now just came through. He said, I don't know what he said. He said something though. 
I heard you, sir. What's that? James D. What's that? What? Two words. Another guy just said two words. There's another set of stairs down this way. It is so dark. I can get dripped on too with water. See a bunch of stuff like this. It almost looks like it'd be a wrapped up body or something. Never know. Somebody have slept on this one time? No, I don't think so. I feel this leads down to an area that's really wet and stuff. Let's see. That. Heard a weird sound. Yeah, 
this goes into that real wet. All right. Very wet in here. Mister, I see you. Get your ass out of here in that van. This mess. Step way down. in here, another toilet. Uh, another big room. So it's all busted through. You know it's for the copper piping and stuff, I'm sure. Pretty dark in here. Instructions. What was done in here? Smoking designated areas only. So what was going on in here? Look at this one thing right here because let me see what art was on here. It's almost like a stage. So dark in here. Oh, look at this. Maybe this was a cafeteria today. Look at all the plastic forks. Sporks, I call them, because they're spoons and forks mixed together. So yeah, maybe this is just the dining hall of some sort. Come get your food. Who's getting some food in here? Who's hungry? Some white a Maxwell house and chock full of nuts back there. Wow, so this is like a big cafeteria area. People just hung out here and ate. Socialized, whatnot. Who's hungry? Who's making food? What a uh, drop lighting. I busted through like that. Jeez. going on over here. A lot of serving of food and stuff, I'm assuming. Looks like a handoff over in the middle part there is an opening. By the cooking went on back there. So we were back over in here serving people. 
See that opening? Well, it's closed right now, but that's probably what they handed the food over to him. Uh, cash only. Ham and cheese. Really? cooking what's going on back here. But maybe not. But there's that one opening that's sealed right now. Six 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 seven 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 over Park Psychiatric Center request for personal action. One three ninety three. Who's down here with me? Speak up. Okay, so there you go. Toilet. Look at this. All the paper in here has been burned to ash. I don't know. Some paper in here is it's okay. Right, 
in that room where my camera's pointing. Something just really banging loud. You upset that I'm going through this paperwork? Really? Again? came over and he says, just don't go in the buildings. You're not allowed in. So, I have to step down this thing here. Let's see. Careful. Don't get seen by cops. I respect the officers of the law. Always have. I gotta do what I gotta do to make this happen. All right, another building. Gotta watch out for the patrol cars and uh, into another building. Oh, check this out. Please keep this door closed at all times. Coffee room. Ah, so. This was the coffee room. I had coffee, sand in here. Probably just stored coffee in here, I guess. Lots of coffee. Alright, so... Okay, Olympus is on. Coming up next, light gets obstructed at the bottom left opening of a door, and I'm not sure if it was caused by the angle I was moving or some type shadow covering the view. That was weird. I just thought I saw it. like a shadow move past that little area on the bottom here with his light. Like there. See, that's me moving. It was like that. But I didn't do it. I didn't cast a shadow. So that was pretty weird. I have to look back on that. Ooh, what is that? That's not my shadow. On the wall there. Where's that coming from? Was this an optical illusion, or perhaps the angle I was at darkening the hole? Unfortunately, I am not able to go back to try and recreate or debunk it. I know I did not cast my own shadow on that hole area at that distance. I'll repeat that clip in slow motion next. What's in here? Well, it looks like they have a... Is that a weight machine? Like to weigh yourself on? So it really looks like a scale. Some kind of scale. Here. Honest weight. You know. Goes up to how much? 1,000 pounds. Starting from zero. Better built. 
Oh, there's a wash, washing system. Hear your voices. Psycho bitch. Right there. Heard a bang of like a metal object with voices. Well, you can see here pretty good. It's a lot of light. Graffiti. They haven't been around that long, so bad. They want to make like iced tea and stuff. Uh, here's another way out, it looks like. Yep, one more building right here. Another elevator shaft and it looks like more chairs inside the elevator wow this wall has been busted right here busted through looks like they just built this thing and it's being busted down go figure Yeah, it's pretty decrepit in this last section here. A lot of water. These walls. This tile. Look here. See how decrepit it is. I'm not going to go into that. Oh, look at all the paint coming off. exploring a real freaky capture of something moving will be shown it was on the other side of the metal bars that held up a wall that had since been torn down I will add an arrow to point out where this happens the incident is quick so I will loop the clip zoom in reverse it and slow it down
go back here first. I didn't look in here. This is what's going down in here. It's a mess. That's what's going down. Big old freaking mess. You're talking out there for sure. Definitely you're talking. Here's the back of the building I'm in right now. And that way is active buildings. All right, so you don't want to be seen too much out here. Okay. We were here. Well, Spirit, hang around here. Hope you enjoy my company. Follow me around. a doll. Check it out. Right there. All wet. Uh, the menagerie of decay that I'm in right now. Alright. We're going up here. Let's do it. Okay, Olympus, I'm in the uh, abandoned building. 